for the sake of all the people you've killed, I'm going to beat you! Hey guys, Warrior93 here, and here is yet another video on Dragon Ball Z Revival of F, or Fukatsu no F in Japanese. So, in recent news, we have a trailer that has been released, and it has a lot of unsuspected surprises. So, the trailer overall got me really hyped up for the movie. So, good job, Toei Animation. You proved to me, once again, that I cannot go to Japan, and you're going to leave me drooling for the movie for a number amount of months before I can even see it. So, <clears throat> anyways, so I'll try to fit the trailer. It's not really a full screen this time. I'm going to try to... I'm doing some experimenting. So those of you who want to see the gameplay can watch that as well as I'm doing the analysis. So if you've already seen the trailer, you already know what I'll be talking about. Or, and you just want to watch the gameplay while I'm talking. Or if you want to watch the trailer, it'll be the trailer. It's just not going to be the full screen. So in the first scene, it's just a redone animation of Trunks killing Frieza, which did happen in the first chapter of the manga. Great. The redone scene looks amazing, and I'm glad they did it. I'm really wanting to see that new Super Saiyan Goku I am scene, though, because that did happen in the first chapter of the manga as well. <clears throat> Later on, it goes on to the evasion, stuff that we already knew was going on. Um, but then, the fight starts with Maximum the Hormone's song F playing, in which you didn't know that will be playing as an insert song in the movie. And If you're not familiar with the insert song, what that is, in essence, um, it's like Hero was playing in Battle of the Gods when Goku turned Super Saiyan and fought Beerus. So it's like that. It'll be playing when Goku and Frieza are fighting. <clears throat> so I really like this part. It's giving other characters some use. And Master Roshi's Kamehameha was amazing. Tien's, or Tien Shinhan if you like to call him that. His tribeam, I almost forgot the name for a second. His tribeam was huge. That was a lot bigger than I remember it being. Krillin, he was just r dodging some attacks because there was a lot of soldiers on him. And I think that was pretty much it. Yeah. Oh, and Piccolo. Oh, I can't forget about Piccolo. He was throwing key blasts at someone. I'm kind of guessing Frieza because he, in the last trailer he did mention that he did come back a lot stronger. Anyways, then it moves on to Goku and Frieza fighting, but then Frieza decides to reveal his new form. So, I actually have mixed feelings on this form. I do like that they kept it simplistic, as that is what he's going for, what Toriyama's going for, but it's just a recolor. For some reason, it kind of reminds me of Cooler. And at first, I'll admit, I didn't like the color choice, but after I let it settle, I'm, I'm fine with it. I have no likeness toward it, but I have no dislikeness. But I'm still mixed about this one. But Frieza, by history, has always had a change that was completely different than last. Like, first form to second form, he got a bigger. Like, it was just bigger. It was a lot different. Second form to third form, he looked at, like, some Xenomorph hybrid of Frieza. And then third, fourth form, he was, like, this plain, simple humanoid. And then, you know, 100% was just, like, steroid version of him. It was, it was eh, no reason to talk about that. It's the same form, essentially. <clears throat> So, when talking about transformations, I'm glad that they didn't overdo it because it was supposed to be a god form, but I was expecting more of a change to him. So as of right now, I'm pretty much neutral. I don't hate the form, nor do I love it. So after seeing some parts go down, clips changing, you know, see Jack of the Patrolman, uh, one of Toriyama's other things, I'm pretty sure he's going to be just the Easter egg though. And then go back to Frieza and Goku fighting. We see Goku get wrecked. And then Vegeta steps up looking at Goku. And so I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to play Devil's Advocate. Alright. A lot of people are not going to like what I'm going to say. A lot of Vegeta fans at least. But you have to look at this objectively and not subjectively. Because a lot of people are saying this when we'll see... Ve they'll say this that we'll see Vegeta go Super Saiyan God and be the hero in the movie. But I'm going to have to disagree with you, with everyone that says that. I do agree that Vegeta coming up to Goku is a reversal of the Frieza saga when Goku saved Vegeta. But a lot of you saying, oh, this is going to mean Vegeta's going to be the hero now. But if anything, I think 
that is pretty much just an easter egg within the movie just like Battle of Gods had a ton of easter eggs on the Goku vs. Frieza fight during Goku vs. Beerus and whatever before that too like if you want to see the easter eggs then I'll probably link that in the description or something I don't know I might forget whatever anyways if we remember at this point there is no way Goku that yeah, Vegeta can be stronger than Goku Goku absorbed the god power and became extremely strong so I don't believe Vegeta would suddenly be a huge amount stronger than Goku and be able to defeat Frieza I do think that he can close the gap as he has been shown to do on multiple accounts but nothing as much as surpassing him and for you Vegeta fanboys don't bring up the Android 19 fight because we all know Goku is sick and he can't he couldn't really fight at his best there so don't even bring that fight up so without going too much in depth that is pretty much all I have to say about Vegeta being stronger than Goku <clears throat> So, if anything, I think they finished the fight together instead of Vegeta alone. Oh, and before I forget, Super Saiyan God, there's no way Vegeta would be able to turn Super Saiyan God at this point because Goku and Vegeta versus Frieza, if there was no one else there, you'd have to have Gohan, Goten, Trunks, and Pan, and Goku just to give Vegeta the power. I'm just saying. Alright, so the t scene then turns into a planet that looks a lot like Earth blowing up. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be Earth or a planet that resembles it or even Frieza's imagination. Which does bring some questions. If it is Earth, why is it blowing up? Because this is not supposed to be the end of DBZ. This is before the end of DBZ. And another question that comes to mind is why isn't Goku turning Super Saiyan at all during the movie? As far as we can see. I understand Super Saiyan got but why not Super Saiyan 1, at least? At least give him some kind of power-up. Maybe he did turn Super Saiyan at some point during the fight, and it wasn't shown during the trailer. But I would really like to see a return of Super Saiyan God. That's just as a subjective view. <clears throat> yeah, I would like to really see Super Saiyan God come back, because we have never got to see the full potential of him, as it was... He was only using 80% of his power. He was using 80% of the power and never got to see the full potential of Super Saiyan God Goku. So that's really all I have to say for today. Make sure you leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. And tell me in the comments, what do you think of the trailer? Are you excited for the movie? And did you like Frieza's new form? And before I forget, again, I would like to give a big thanks to the creator of pretty much part of the thumbnail. I'm not going to give a whole thumbnail. She's been a huge help. Uh, and I will link her art tumbler in the description. So make sure you go follow her on Tumblr, give her some support, and stuff like that. Just want to, you know, spread that out there. So that's all I have to say for today. For all news, information, and updates on Dragon Ball Z, Fukatsu no F, or Revival of F, or Resurrection of F, or Fusa Resurrection, or whatever you want to call it, make sure you subscribe. I will see you all later.